Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to going to episode 62 of I Got Two Friends. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Mm. Time for these girls to come home. <laughs> Okay. It's okay. Yeah. We'll practice. She'll be back to where you were. Yeah. You already know what I'm going to say, but we're going to wait until the opening. <laughs> uh, what is it? A frog? It is a frog. <laughs> okay. So just, you know, I'm not upset anymore about, you know, having the fact that we had to wait several episodes later to have these four girls be important again. But still, it's a little messed up. But also, speaking of which, of having girls come home. So, this morning, around, like, 2 o'clock, I'm on my phone, and Idol Master Cinderella Girl Starlight Stage had a new girl come, a new permanent, and it's one of my favorite girls. So, I was like, mm, I have 4,930 gems. I almost was close to 5,000. And I was like, should I do a pull? But I also want to save my gems, because Simfest is going to come soonish. Because we're getting closer and closer to um, September, which is the anniversary for this game. And I was like, no, 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 no. But then I found out who it was. It was freaking Mizuki. Kaede is like BFF slash like Wapu-ish. So I did one pull. She didn't come home. I got loaded and everything. Didn't even freaking come home. And I was like, I wasted 2,500 gems on... Nothing. And I'm literally trying to save gems so that I have gems. So possibly next month when I get paid or the month after, I am definitely going to be buying 6,000 and something gems for like 50 bucks, I believe. Because I think that's how much it is on um, the Japanese page. Just to see these four girls back, even though we saw Emma and Michael a couple episodes ago, it's still so nice. Like, oh my god. This is why I, I kind of wish that, you know, when Emma and Michael went on their tour, that we got to see them do what they did and went with them, but because they are not. They're not main, major characters, they're more of minor characters. Of course, it's a no. Hmm? 
Well, dang, those two got back, really. That was quick. Welcome back. That's so sad, but it's cute. You just be yourself around her. Excuse me. That's okay. Mm hmm. Or maybe even a close friend. There you go. What'd you do? That's okay. <laughs> no, it's fine. Oh. See, the question is, I want to know who's the voice actress. Like, I feel like I know who Sagi and Kaguya is, but Wakaba, no. But I've heard the voice before. She's probably been in some other anime that I've seen between 2016 to now. Okay, when I started YouTube to now for three freaking years, almost in August. Hey, Froggy. Okay, I hope that's a good time. Hmm? No, it's several frogs. Yeah. 
Why are there frogs everywhere? That's funny. Well, you're going to need like a big behind net. Hmm? Okay, where? I hate me though. Did they really do a 24 time countdown? Oh my god. One month is forever in a lifetime. Think about that. Oh, this song. Okay.
See, I do remember that they do have like speaking voices and singing voices because I don't think it is also Rand's uh, singer who was doing her, but she sounds so similar kind of to Ron a little bit. If Ron had her voice like a tiny bit higher, but I don't know. I still love it though. Of course, they need to relax their feet, too. I mean, for a whole month, they were on their feet. <laughs> okay. Hey, Guacaba, I want to see you perform, but you know, I don't think that's going to happen. Either of one or two things, you know, we do an episode that just focuses on her again, how they did with, um, I'm about to say Aine, Akari-chan, and how when Akari-chan was auditioning to come to the school and she wanted to be like, Ichigo in a way, or she's the star of the next season if this show gets another season. Because none of us really know yet if this show is greenlit or whatever. I don't think we'll know until about... Um, I don't know. Because, see, like, Aikatsu... Aikatsu really is very secretive with theirs. And a lot of things don't really get spoiled. Unlike Pretty Care, it gets spoiled by October. So, I mean, I'd be surprised if something came out in October for this show but at the same time if something didn't I wouldn't be surprised as well because the fact is I think Bandai is a very tight knit um, company that doesn't let a lot of things come out like Toll Animation where people will find out easy ways to leak something and the next thing you know it's on the internet because I mean that's what you do on the internet so like slowly but surely something's gonna get leaked I mean it happened during E3. It, it happens all the time with certain things, with conventions and everything. So I wouldn't be surprised with Pretty Cure. But with Aikatsu, I'm, I, I like being surprised. I want to wait until either I go on Tumblr and find something or I go on Twitter and find something or somebody DMs me on Snapchat saying, DJ, you see this? And I'm like, no. Or, or sometimes I end up saying yes. Because 50 out of 50, I've usually seen it before. <laughs> They've seen it. <laughs> and it's so cute. <laughs> but then I still get excited. Because it's more girls, more idols, and I'm like, yes! <laughs>
you know, one more thing I want to say. See, for Sakuya and Kaguya, um, if they get their dress, which is probably going to be around the second half of this show, so whenever we get to be episode 25 of this series, um, maybe when we get to the new opening, that's when we'll see. I feel like it's going to be these outfits that are going to be leveled up or upgraded because they're already wearing gems, like, where their, uh, the ties are and such that look like brooches in a way. So if they get new ones, they could take those ones off, put those ones on, and then boom. But then I just want to see also Emma and Micah's because, I mean, come on, every group I know just... Pure Palette and I believe have theirs. Love Me Tear is gonna get theirs and hopefully Reflect Moon and Love Me Cat. I say Love Me Cat, Honey Cat will get theirs. Which one? Uh, oh, yeah, the frogs. Oh my god, they look so cute together. <laughs> but to finally, finally, after several freaking episodes, to have an episode that focuses on Sakiya, Kaguya, Micah, and Emma, like, thank you, God. Because if we would have went, if they would have came home, and we would have went technically back to normal without wondering what the heck Micah, Emma, Sakiya, and Kaguya did, I would have been really pissed. But thank God that didn't happen. Cody, did you just walk on the other side for me to give you attention? See, that's my dog for you. Come here. Did you want attention? Ugh. But it was a good episode. A really good episode. I enjoyed it for what it was. I love the fact that Micah did... Not Micah. Um, Mirai performed in this episode. And same thing with Saka and Kaguya. Because at first, I thought what they would have done is Mirai would have performed Cotton would have performed, and then we would have had Saki and Kaguya perform last. I mean, or it would have been every girl who helped with this perform, but no, because Wakaba doesn't really have anything yet. She's still an idol in training. And like I said, I don't think we're going to see her be this idol she wants to be until possibly around season three, which, like I said, we don't know if this show has gotten officially greenlit for season three. This could possibly be the final season four. I got two friends, but I don't want it to be. I, I mean, I would rather it continue for another year. You just want to lick my hand. Go ahead. I don't care. You better be happy. I like you, Bob, dog. The other side of the earth. Okay, for something to be called the other side of the earth, and then for Cotton to be walking around in the middle of the night by herself, um, I don't think this is gonna be like that one episode of Stars when they were um at the other school, um on the ship. Uh, Venus, Venus ship, Venus arc. There we go. There we go. Venus arc. I was like, what the hell is it called? Um, and there was an episode of like who was eating something and it ended up turning out to be uh, Kirara chan and stuff. I don't think it's gonna end up being like that, but it does have a little bit of quote unquote horror or cutesy horror in my opinion. So it will, it'll be like scary, but it won't be like scary, scary typically as, um, some animes that I've seen that have done the horror aspect because we're not going to really talk about horror anime in a nutshell because horror anime is not as good as I thought it was going to be. But yeah, I mean, to have now we're going into an episode that's going to be a little bit of Cotton, a little bit of Alicia. So, I mean, more on her, thank goodness, because 
if we would have went to this next episode, kind of making her a little bit of a background character and then giving her more time to shine, I would have been like a little biased. But I mean, they're continuing from where it was from episode 61 now into 63. Because of the fact is she is returning and she's brand new to all of this. So she has to, you know, start from the bottom and slowly but surely work her way back up until she is rightfully okay again to stand beside Kibiki and do I believe once again because right now I think in my opinion you know how when um Mio and Aine took their break because of the fact is they weren't at a top level that I think what Mio said um that she didn't want to be and because because there was a lot of other things between them going on so they both just decided let's just go our separate ways and then slowly but surely we'll find our way back to each other. And I think that's going to happen with her in Hibiki for I believe. I mean, essentially it has happened. Um, you know, uh Hibiki went into space and while Alicia uh was being the ruler of her of her country, but because of the fact is Alicia is now coming back into this world, it's like she needs a couple of episodes where she needs more training to get into it, to get back into the groove of things, because she has, it's probably been, like, a couple of years since she's done this, so think about it. She's not as OP as she used to be, so it, it's just building back her confidence and everything so that she can be the best that she was when she did, I believe. But, you know, I, I, I'm hoping that, like, if this does focus on her next week, that she does get another performance. I love the heck out of her song. Her song is, like, top tier, like, with Lily... And, um, Yurika, whose name I still always pronounce wrong because I always think it's something else, but this, aka, you know, the, um, the Ronko of this show, of the world of Aikatsu and Ish, and then probably anyone else. I mean, Saka and Kage could probably compare to her because their songs, they're in the gothic center, even, um, uh, some Samai, I think her name was, the, the, um, Ice Flower at the stage. Long hair, blue haired girl who I freaking loved. I was about to say the girl who was also in um, that unit with her, but she was a more of a dancing idol rather than a um, a gothic. She was like the only one of its kind because I've never seen between stars and this show. We've never seen an Aikatsu, uh, well, an idol who is typically just a techno dance one who that is their specialty everyone's always been like cute whatever such and such but for a techno dance one she was just the one of a kind and you know we've never had that return in any of the series but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode 62 of it cuts your friends if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys all officially next time for episode 63 bye guys